Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make your vocals sound professional in Audacity. Check out my Audacity Ultimate course for beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. So let's hop into Audacity and record something. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm going to make my vocals sound really pro using some of the free tools in Audacity. As you can see there, I've already got a pretty good vocal laid down, but there's a few things I can do to improve the sound of this and make it even better. Hello, this is Mike Russell. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into Effect, and I'm going to go to Filter Curve EQ. Of course, selecting all of the audio that I want to apply this Filter Curve EQ to. Once I've done that, I can flatten the curve, and get rid of some of the low end, some of the boomy bass in my voice. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm gonna probably a little bit too much, so I'll pull that down a little bit and try again. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm... Then I want it nice and crispy, so I'll do a boost at the high end. Let's play that. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm gonna make my... And I could maybe try and move that boost down a little bit, and maybe take it down in volume a bit. It's probably a bit too loud there. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm gonna make my vocals sound really... Maybe a little bit too much of a boost there. And then we'll put another boost around 2000 hertz, just like that. And another one around 200 to get the vocal boominess. Hello, this is Mike Russell. And I'm... That's sounding pretty good. I'll apply that. And then you see it's kind of changed the shape of the waveform. So next I'll go in, I'll use the compressor to flatten that out. And in general, I want to move the threshold down to around minus 20. The ratio may be up to three to one. If I was doing voiceover, it would be five to one. So super pro and then leave everything else, attack time as quick as possible. Release time can be one second. Sometimes you can actually uh, increase that, but I wouldn't suggest it, I'd leave it as is. Click OK, boom, we've got nicely compressed audio. That's pretty much all you need to do to get pro vocals. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Nice and crisp and clear, nice and compressed, so all at the same level using a couple of effects, really easy to apply in Audacity. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Thumbs up! Subscribe for more! Music Radio Creative.com